Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today let's talk about wine bottle closures. While some of us might link a specific closure to a wine quality, closures are actually there to preserve the quality and the intended wine style and protect it from the influence of the outside world such as oxygen or bugs. I have also heard assumptions that for example screw cups or synthetic corks are meant for post-Soviet markets only, meaning it is a secondary quality product. This simply is not true. While some wine producers will bottle the same wine with different closures intended for different markets, it has to do more with how the specific market reacts to the closure itself or any alternative to natural cork. So what are the options available? Natural cork is made from the bark of cork oak tree and it is mostly grown in Portugal and Spain. Because it is an elastic material, for a very long time it had almost no alternatives for sealing a wine bottle. It is also a porous material and because of that some amount of oxygen will enter the wine bottle. For certain wine styles it is considered to be beneficial and even nowadays it is widely believed that age-worthy wine should be sealed with natural corks only. But it had one major step back. Some wines might get affected with 3-chloroanisole or TCA for short, aka corked wine. It is harmless but it mutes varietal characters of the wine and develops expressive musty and wet cardboard aromas. So here are the pros and cons of the natural cork. Pros. Traditional pop when opening the wine. Some oxidation penetration allows wine to develop and gain complexity. It is a renewable resource. Cons. Might taint your wine. Higher bottle variation possibility. Special gadgets required to open a bottle. When Australia and New Zealand announce themselves as serious winemaking countries, Naturally, they were looking for natural corks of Europe. They were mostly provided with worse quality natural corks, so in order to keep and preserve the high quality of their wines, they needed to look for alternatives. Enter the screw cup. Anyone who is convinced that wines bottled under screw cup are meant for second world countries is clearly missing the point that Australia and New Zealand are bottling most of their wines with screw cup, no matter what's the destination. Originally, screw cups were considered to be perfect for wines meant for immediate consumption, as these closures would preserve the varietal characters much better than the natural corks. But later, it turned out that they work amazingly well for age-worthy wines too. Nowadays, there are screw cups available in the market that show zero oxygen transmission rate, but there are also screw cups that allow some oxygen to enter the bottle, therefore protecting wine from the reduction as well. These are pros and cons of screw cup. Pros. Super easy to open the bottle, DCA free, will preserve wine's varietal characters longer than alternative closures. Cons, might develop production in the wine bottle, negative environmental impact, not as fancy. There are some wines that are bottled with closures that are made to look like natural cork, at least in color and sometimes even in texture, but actually they are made from polyethylene or biopolyethylene. Because these corks are also TCA free and they provide that nice pop when you're opening the bottle of wine, they might become great alternatives to natural cork or screw cup. But some wine professionals have claimed that wine might develop some off aromas under the synthetic cork, especially if it is made of oil-based materials. Pros, TCA free, Plant-based corks might be carbon neutral or even carbon negative. Cons, those made from oil-based plastics might have negative environmental impact. Oxygen transmission rate increases with time. Might be hard to open the bottle even using good corkscrew. Might have chemical off aroma. 
There are a few more closures that I have not talked about yet, but we will finish with glass closure. As glass is an inert material, it will also be TCA free. It already looks very fancy, but winemaker can choose to make it even more fancier, adding colors, designs, and even more glass on top. Similarly, as with synthetic corks, its oxygen transmission rate will slightly increase with time. But when it comes to opening a wine bottle sealed with glass cork, some say it is very easy and even satisfactory, while others say it is very difficult. So I will just put it in both pros and cons. Pros, easy to open, looks super fancy, can be reused for other liquids, cork itself is recyclable. Cons, difficult to open, heavier than other corks. There are also other wine bottle closures that I did not discuss today, such as agglomerated cork, zork or crown cup. I will leave them for the next time. I did mention several wine faults today. If you want to know more about them, make sure to watch my other video on wine faults. I will link it below.